Hey guys, this is Lori Gordon and I wanted to take a couple of minutes of your time today and show you how you can access your paid content with your subscription. So the first thing you need to do is open a browser and I personally prefer Google Chrome when using our site. We have the least amount of problems with that and if you guys um, ever have any issues just hop over to Google Chrome and I can guarantee that that will probably resolve most of them. The first thing you need to do is um, go to Oil Revolution Designs and then go to My Account. You'll need to log in prior to accessing any of the content. So you just put in your username and password. If you have any problem um, recalling your password, you can click the lost password and it will um, prompt you to retrieve it. If you cannot get the email, I would check your spam folder and if you still don't get it, then you can always email us and send us your preferred password and we'll manually reset that for you. So once you log in, you'll see your subscription um, services there and you'll also see any orders that you may have um, completed in the past. If this is your very first time to log in after you've purchased your subscription, you'll need to go to edit my account. That's under the my account menu, okay? There was also a link right here earlier on the previous page that I forgot to call out. But you'll want to go in and fill out your image branding options. Now you have to have your image branding options filled out. At least these first three um, fields, the your name, your email address, and your member number, these are absolutely mandatory in order to get your automatically branded graphics. So you put here what you want it to display on your graphics. So if you don't want to, you know, use your, your nickname or your real name or you want to maybe use your business name or something, you'll, you'll put exactly what you want to appear on the card or in the graphic here. After you've made those changes, you can also um, upload a square logo if you want with a clear background. You can click Save Changes. Once you do that, you can then go to the Subscription Services category. This is on the top menu. There's options here that you want to select. Right now we're going to talk about the monthly graphic, so click on that. When you go there, um, right now you'll see three folders, um, a September 2015 graphics that have some general stuff in there. These are unrelated to the new kit challenge. I had a 14 day um, new kit challenge that is out there for September also. So you get lots of, lots of graphics this month. And then you can still find the August 2015 graphics out there until the middle of September. Those will be removed around September 15th. So you'll wanna make sure that you go download the, those prior to the middle of September. So let's talk about the September 2015 graphics. Um, there's been a lot of questions about the business cards and I think it's because we have some new folks. So I want to make sure that we're real clear on what you should expect to see. Now these are just thumbnails and yes they are blank until you click on them. So if you were to click on one you'll notice that it populates all your information on there. So isn't that cool? You can um, scroll to the next one and see which designs you like better or which you prefer. Now if you did not upload a logo to your profile, you won't see anything here on this um, graphic like I have. So there's several options for downloading. You can select them one at a time and then you can either download that single image or you can email them. You can also, if it's a shareable graphic, so notice how this one says print. This is a high resolution image that you should print and not necessarily share because it's a large file. If you click on a shareable option, which this one says web, so that means it is shareable, you can click it and share and it will um, give you the option to either share on Facebook, Twitter, or to post to your My Oil site if you have one of those. So um, let's talk about if you want to select them all. Selecting them all, you can also email them. So when you select them all and you click email, it knows the email that's associated with your web um, profile and it will email all of those to your email account which is really cool. Um, this is a favorite thing that Beth likes to do for you guys and this is great at the end of the month to go in and email all the images to yourself so you always have a copy of them. You can also email these images and if you have an iPhone you can open those up and save them to your camera roll and share them directly from there. That's another easy way to use these. Do know that if there's a lot of graphics in here and there are a lot of big ones like specifically this print one you can uncheck those in email because if it's over like 25 megabytes, your, your um, email server may reject that file because it's too large. So if you never get the email, that's why. <laughs> you may want to try to select fewer at a time and email those in smaller chunks. Okay, so um, let's say you just want to download the business card files, okay? So we're going to select the business card files and then hit download select images. 
Now what it's doing is it's downloading a zip file and that, see down here at the bottom, this is how it looks in Google Chrome. When you download a zip file, a zip file is a compressed version of all those files in one little folder that's got the little zipper on it. So once it downloads, you can click on it and you'll see all the files in that folder. Now you'll need to extract those. You can do that a couple ways. You could select them on, copy them, and paste them into a new folder, or you can click the extract button, and then it'll tell you, you know, give you some options like where do you want to extract them. So once you've extracted them, so let's just make up a, a, a extract file here. Once you've extracted them, now they're in their own folders, and you can click on them and see that they're exactly like you hoped they would be with all your information. I could now take these and go directly to Vistaprint or Overnight Prints or whatever your print vendor for business cards is of choice and upload those directly. So I hope that's helpful. Let me uh, close this and get back to our website. So um, I hope that makes sense. I hope this is something that you guys can use. Um, once again, if you're having any problems, do not hesitate to email us at help at oilrevolutiondesigns.com. Also, um, can't stress this enough, Google Chrome is awesome for um, viewing our website and we would love it if you tried that first. And if you have any issues, like I said, clear your browsing history and close your browser, reopen it and log in again and give it one more shot. So I hope you all have a great day and I'm excited about what's to come for the rest of September. Talk to you soon.